I am not going to start this video by saying if you are a UI designer, you should be worried about your job or something similar. Instead, we are going to switch our mindset. We need to start thinking in a way how we can use the AI to do our job better, become more efficient, and stop victimizing ourselves constantly. Yes, Google has just released a new AI tool with incredible potential. In this video, we're going to explore all of its features and discover how we can take advantage of this tool to bring our own ideas to life a lot faster. Because that's the whole point of using the tool. Now, the first time I have visited this website, I have encountered one error message. Apparently, Google Stitch is not yet available in all regions around the world, which is why I had to download a Tor browser so that I can access this tool. Luckily, it worked. Anyhow, at the moment of recording this video, the Google Stitch is currently in beta which means you might encounter a few bugs down the road, and from my personal experience, the AI sometimes doesn't do the exact thing that we are asking for. Another issue that I have encountered while testing this tool is with my first prompt. So after I have written my first prompt, I've tried pressing that button. But when I click that button, nothing happened. I've tried clicking that button multiple times and still the same. So instead of submitting my prompt with that button, I have ended up in creating multiple chat windows. Instead, what you should do is just press that button once and then refresh the page. So only after we refresh our page, only then we should be able to see those prompt windows or those chat windows. I mean, they're probably gonna fix this issue in the future, but still, this uh, trick uh, might be helpful for uh, those who are trying to access this uh, software. Uh, when writing your first prompt, uh, you have an option to select uh, either the standard mode or the experimental one. The main difference is that the second one allows you to add uh, some kind of an image from the inspirational UI design of your choice. That way, the AI can pick the style that you're looking for and give you more uh, personalized results. What's also helpful is to check the prompt guide. The prompt guide can help you understand uh, how to write those uh, prompts that uh, brings the best possible results. Like for example, you should use uh, either a broad idea like uh, an app for uh, marathon runners or a detailed idea like an app for uh, runners to find uh, partners, races and uh, training tips. Then you should also include uh, adjectives as much as possible, like for example, a vibrant fitness app, a minimalistic meditation app, and other. When you need to ask the AI to make some changes, be specific. Focus on a single screen at a time and even a single component at a time. Otherwise, you might not get the expected results. Even though it's still a work in progress, I'm impressed with its potential, because it would usually take me a few hours to get things moving in Figma from scratch. What's also good about it is that you can copy the UI design from that AI and paste it into your Figma project with one click. I mean, that's so convenient. Even if you're not fully satisfied with the results from the AI, you can still clone it and continue working on it by yourself. Other than that, we have a drop-down menu option where we can customize the styling of this design output before we design to clone it in Figma, for example. Bottom line, uh, Google Stitch is uh, still a long way from uh, being perfect. Although, I might use it for uh, brainstorming ideas, experimenting with the layout alignments, and explore a different kind of ideas to represent my concept. However, I don't expect it to generate a, a perfect uh, UI design from just a single prompt. That's impossible. Also, do you think that this tool is going to be helpful for you? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to leave a like to this video if you want to see some more interesting content like this. Thank you for watching.